you're all well. In today's video, I thought I would tell you a few of the things that I find difficult to do with my ABS. Now, for those of you that don't know, I was born with a condition called amniotic band syndrome, which basically meant that whilst I was in the womb, some of my fingers and some of my toes were amputated, basically. Now, before I start, I do just want to say that I know others have it worse. With this video, I'm not trying to show that I'm really hard done by or anything like that. You know, I'm quite lucky in a way with my ABS because it only affected my fingers and toes. And I know for some people it can affect like their whole limbs. Generally, day to day, it's not a huge issue for me, but it does mean that some things are a little bit more difficult. But yeah, basically, I thought I would just tell you a few of the things that I do find difficult. And maybe if you have ABS, you'll be able to relate to some of them. So let's just get right into it. First thing that came to mind for me was the fact that I'm always dropping things. <laughs> so with my um, shorter fingers, it means that my grip on things isn't as good as with this hand. Luckily, I am right-handed. But yeah, so when I'm holding, especially like my phone or if I'm holding like a glass of water or some other drink, um, I do drop it pretty easily. I spill things quite a bit. My phone is one that really, really annoys me. I have to have like a case that has like a full sort of, it's like a flip case because if I just have one with the back on it, I would no doubt crack my screen every day. <laughs> that is something that I probably do notice the most and something that annoys me the most about having my ABS because it's really frustrating. And I notice um, like every now and then, if I am gonna pick something up with this hand, you know, I'll pick it up with this hand first and give it to this hand. Um, but it is just, how it is for me. That mainly affects my hand um, but one of the biggest things for me with my foot, um, this is what my foot looks like by the way if you haven't actually seen it before, but yeah one of the biggest things with my foot is shoes. Um, so that goes for like shoe sizes and also the types of shoes that I have to wear. So I can't wear flip-flops because they would just fall off and they'd be so uncomfortable um, because my toes aren't really there to keep them on. Um, and that also means that I can't wear like sliders or any sort of slip on shoes that don't have like that elastic around it. If I want to wear slip on shoes, I always have to find the ones with elastic around it. So, you know, sometimes it can be a bit of a pain trying to find those kind of shoes. Um, but also like even with any type of shoe, it's difficult with the sizes because my foot that's not ABS affected is a size six. And then my foot that does have the ABS is considerably smaller I think. Um, I think it's about like a size three or four but I could be wrong. I'll put the picture here if I can find it but I did measure it the other day uh, when I was in a shoe shop and it was a bigger difference than I thought. So um, when it comes to buying shoes I do buy them the same size, you know, I don't buy two different size shoes. It just helps I guess if I find like lace-up shoes that I can pull pretty tight um, and if not I find I just buy like just normal insoles to put in so that it sort of fills out the shoe a bit more for me. It reminded me of something else actually so obviously because my feet are different sizes shoes are difficult but my hands are different sizes too and when it comes to winter and I'm wearing gloves obviously gloves don't fit this hand all that well. <laughs> it doesn't really matter as much as shoes do um, but my fingers will not fill the glove and I'll just have this like flappy bit at the top that's not filled. <laughs> so it looks a little strange. Something else I tend to struggle with because of my ABS is styling my hair. Now I don't know if you've noticed but in all of my videos pretty much I think um, my hair is just down. I have this style pretty much every day um, and that is because I find it really difficult to do anything else with my hair um, that requires like both my hands. So plaiting it I find pretty difficult because it's hard to hold all the pieces of hair. Um, what else? Tying it up in a ponytail is more difficult than you would think because as I'm trying to hold up all my hair, I'm trying to smooth it out with one hand, hold it up with the other and I can't do it properly because I can't hold it all. It all literally just falls out and it looks a mess. Um, <laughs> So I, I rarely tie my hair up and if I do I ask for help like it was really difficult for me when I was trying to you know if I had PE when I used to go to school and do PE um, you know I'd always have to get my mum to do my hair for me in the morning and it'd be quite frustrating because I just wanted to be able to do it myself but I just found it way too difficult so I tend to just keep it down. Um, I did straighten it today which um, isn't too difficult for me because you know I just use this hand um, and it works fine. Um, but yeah, besides that, I can't really do much else with my hair. 
So this next thing is pretty new to me and that is driving. So um, if you're not from the UK, basically once you turn 17 here, you can start to learn to drive. So I turned 17 and I started trying to learn to drive with my dad um, a couple of weeks later. And I found it kind of difficult. Um, this is with my hand and my foot. So the foot that is affected by my ABS is the one that you have to put on the accelerator. Um, and I find it really weird because I, I can't like, obviously, like I was saying before, I wear shoes that are just, you know, too big. So when it comes to putting my foot on the um, accelerator, I can't actually feel what part of my foot is on the pedal. I think regardless of my ABS I'd be a very nervous driver because it does really scare me for some reason um, but more the fact that you know you already don't really feel in control when you first learn to drive especially the fact I can't feel my foot on the pedal it's more like my shoe Um I find that kind of even more scary um, and then when it comes to my hand this is the hand that if I'm driving a manual car which is what I started to learn in um, this hand changes the gears and I have to be able to hold, get a good enough grip on the um, the gear stick to move it around. Um, and it also does the handbrake because in the car that I started learning in, we don't have one of those like um, buttons for the handbrake. It's like the actual like thing that you have to pull up. And I found that really difficult because I can't get my fingers like all the way around it. Like it doesn't it doesn't go all the way around it so I didn't feel like I had a good enough grip on it and it was a really stiff one in the car as well and yeah I just I didn't really get on with driving that well to be honest um, and it just made me really really nervous but yeah that's that's been more one of like the newer challenges that I've had um, with my ABS. Despite there being some challenges with certain things and I can't really do that much about them because my hand and my foot just are as they are um, there are some things that I originally found difficult that I have just adapted to do um, and the first one that came to mind for me was my flute so I started playing the flute when I was I think I was about like eight or nine years old the first time that I played it we were actually like learning it as a class in school when I was in like year four and um, we were being taught how to hold it and I actually remember getting pretty upset that day if you don't play the flute you probably won't know this uh, but basically on I'll see if I can find some sort of picture to help explain it a bit better um, but you, you you have to stretch these two fingers across like and miss a key um, and I, these fingers don't really stretch that far and I think if I did it would be pretty painful and it's too short anyway so I actually hold it kind of different so this finger for me doesn't do anything um, it just sits there these two I use for the keys and then this one I have to use for two keys it kind of comes in handy that it's a little bit bent because I use the top part on the key and then this sort of side part that sticks out I use to rest on the next one when I need it I don't know if any of that makes any sense I'm not very good at explaining it but basically I've just adapted to do it my own way you know now I'm older and I can look back on it I think it's pretty cool that I've you know not let that stop me and I've just you know carried on the best I can and I actually don't feel like it affects my flute playing at all like I can still play it like everyone else unless there's like a really fast part which sometimes it can be a bit of a mess but you know I just try my best with it so yeah I guess that's one of the things that I've adapted to be able to do um another thing that I have sort of started doing differently to everybody else um, because of the way my fingers are is texting this is naturally something that I realised I'd adapted to do until my mum actually pointed it out the other day. I was just texting someone on my phone and she noticed that I hold it differently to how she would. Maybe not everyone does this but I think most people do text generally like with both their thumbs don't they? Um, and this isn't something that I do because this thumb only moves there, it doesn't have the best movement really and so I'd find it really really difficult. So I actually text using this finger and this thumb and I never really see it as any different and I wouldn't ever do it any different way. But again, it's pretty cool that I've, you know, figured out a way and adapted to do it um, that's easiest for me. So for now, that's all I can think of that I may um, struggle with with my ABS or do differently to other people. Um, let me know if you can relate to this in the comments and let me know if there was anything that you maybe wouldn't have thought of that I would find difficult. There's probably more, but these are just the ones that I thought of for now. Um, but like I say, it generally isn't something that I think about or notice because it is just what it is for me. It's all I've ever known. 
but yeah I hope that you found this video interesting and enjoyed it if you did um, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and if you would like to see more then I will link in the description my ABS playlist which is full of videos where I talk about how the condition affects me what it is yeah that is it for today but thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all very soon bye <laughs>